For this May 4th video, we're going to take a look at Star Wars The Black Series. This is Luke Skywalker as he was depicted in the Imperial Light Cruiser of the Mandalorian TV series episode. So this action figure comes with two accessories. It's going to be the lightsaber and the coat or cloak. So let's first take a look at the lightsaber. So this is the details of the lightsaber hilt or handle. And this is the details on the blade and it is of course still detachable from the lightsaber handle so the figure is fully wrapped in this black coat or cloak when you take it out of its paper packaging okay so it fully covers the figure head to toe so let's take a look at the cuts on this coat so very clean we have stitching on the side and it serves for a certain purpose to keep the coat or cloak in shape and we have stitching on the top of the hood very clean stitching on the neck area and it serves for a purpose because when you try to really position the hood on top of the head to reveal Luke Skywalker's face, the hood area really nicely drapes on the shoulder of the action figure. And we have a nice center opening to reveal the details of the action figure. So nicely covers the entire action figure, nicely covers the head, and you could even expose the head this way. Taking the coat or the cloak off the action figure is just easy. So just take a hold of the hood area and slide it off the action figure to reveal the Mark Hamill head sculpt. So as for likeness to the actor who played Luke Skywalker, I could say that this is as close that we could get to Mark Hamill. So that's about, I could rate it at about 98%. So I'm really satisfied with this purchase. Let's do a quick 360 view of the base action figure. So there's a very small hook that secures the lightsaber to the belt of Luke Skywalker. But as for securely positioning that lightsaber hilt, um, it is not so secure. So take a look at how long that hook is. Very, very short. So does it really matter i guess not so much because majority of the time you're going to be posing this action figure with the lightsaber on the hand and the blade on okay so let us discuss articulation points at the same time really take a closer look at the details of this action figure so let's take a look at the articulation points on the head. So we have two points of articulation for the head. Ball joints on the base of the head unit or the head scalp. And we have another ball joint on the neck, base of the neck or the sternum. So when I take I took this figure out of packaging actually the collar was really misplaced so it was really on the back of the neck so I had to take a hold of that collar and rotate it okay so let's take a look at the head articulation so nice side to side motion but with regards to head tilts not so much even if we have two points of articulation so let's grab a hold, a nice hold of the figure. So tilts looking down, tilts looking up, but 
side tilts that's okay but the tilts that we're really looking for this and that not so much so well um, as for articulation for the body so articulation point we don't have any point of articulation on the diaphragm area it's going to be all centered on the baseline so that's going to be a ball joint on this section so rotation of that waistline very highly possible so let's take a look at the bends forward not so much bends backward that much bends sideways so we're ready to take a look at the articulation points on the arms and the hands the pose as possible full 360 turn we only have a single point of articulation or bend for the elbow but that is a very deep bend And also we have rotation on the elbow for the hand area so the right is going to be gloved the left is going to be ungloved rotation possible and the hinge is going to be located on the thumb area so with the other gloved hand okay so the gi of the action figure reaches just below the hip so it does not cover the entire thigh we don't have any cut or opening for the end of the gi so that is full-on plastic but does it does it going to interfere with articulation point of the leg so forward kicks sideways kicks single bend on the knee and we have rotation on the boot and that is a details on the boot that is textured so this area of the leg is smooth but the boot is textured so giving giving it a leather like feel so the gi is also textured but the rest the undergarment or the under uniform is smooth so going back to articulation of the shin so we have rotation on that boot and we have a hinge and rocker for the foot and rotation on the knee so that is for the articulation points and the details of this Luke Skywalker action figure so letting the figure hold on to the lightsaber with both hands is possible but the handle of the lightsaber is just way too soft that somehow you have to be very careful with regards to this section of the lightsaber because that area is going to be the most softest part of the lightsaber handle so it's really going to bend or be out of shape this figure stands just below the six inch mark it's about 5.95 inches for first point of comparison we have luke skywalker with his misguided nephew kylo red and for last point of comparison, we have the Wandering Jedi Obi-Wan Kenobi with Luke Skywalker. So if you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe to help me grow my channel. And see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review.